Uh, welcome to SO36 Berlin, where I have Duncan from Vulvodynia with me. Uh, vaginal diseases aside, uh, what would you tell uh, about Vulvodynia to a new listener? Well, to a new listener, we're, we're the, one of the first bands to do a mixture of like brutal slamming death metal and a few other genres like deathcore and beatdown and all of that. So it's, it's just a big mashup of the genres that we love and it's pretty much as heavy as we possibly wanted it to be. So it's like the heaviest stuff we could think of and that's what we want to write. Okay, yeah, you come from uh, South Africa, yeah, yeah. Uh, at least in uh, metal frame it's uh, pretty exotic, so how yeah, is the metal yeah. scene uh, back home? The, the metal scene is quite big, but uh, compared to other countries it's actually like quite small, uh, but back home when there are shows, usually it's about like 300 to 400 people that you could get into a, a venue. Uh, some big festivals happen there, like Ramfest and Witchfest, which are like our annual festivals that can bring in about 1,500 people sometimes times depending on the bands but I would say the metal scene is definitely there and there are there are bands and musicians it's just uh, not a lot of bands have been able to break through like out of that scene yet so uh, it is quite a cool thing for us being a South African band to make it out and you know what I mean be on a tour like this so yeah <laughs> okay so uh, how important is your home homeland then or does it have a special importance or I think I think it really does have a special importance to us and uh, it, it feels like wherever we tour we we're carrying the flag for other musicians and fans in South Africa so yes I think it is very important and bands are slowly learning how to do things more professionally and take it to the next level so we will definitely always carry the South African flag with us where we go and, you know just try and push it and show people wow there is metal in South Africa so yeah no it is very important to us where we come from. Yeah, the word slamming comes up very yeah. frequently with yeah. you guys, so uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> what does uh, slamming mean to you? How important is slamming? Well, it is, it's been a, a big controversy with us as well because we've had a lot of elitists in like the slamming brutal death metal scene saying that we're not really slam, but uh, we, we like to incorporate as much of the slamming brutal death metal as we can into our genre. Um, with our new release coming up, we're going to be doing a lot more of that and less of the death core beat downside. So, um, I don't know, slamming brutal death metal has always been a thing for us because it's one of the most like brutal, like just uh, like uh, grindy like, genres that are just really heavy and we want that in our music. So I don't know, just slamming brutal death metal is a big part of our sound and we just want to try and uh, like convey that as much as possible with our newer stuff. Yeah, uh, your latest album, uh, Psycho Sadistic Design, came out in 2016. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, when are we going to hear uh, new music and what kind of musical direction are you yes, taking? So we're actually currently working on a new album now. Um, as soon as we get back home from this tour, we're going to start recording for that album. Most of it's already written. We're going to be going for real drums on that album and a, a way bigger producer with this one too. Uh, we want to go more in the slamming, brutal, dread, like death metal direction. Um, so we're going to be dropping a lot of the high vocals and the mid-range vocals, keeping the lows and the gutturals and just adding a lot more slams into the new stuff. So, yeah, that's that's the direction we want to go. So elitists can stop, like, hating on us for not being slam type of thing. But, yeah. Okay, and uh, you've been touring Europe this month with, for example, Despised Icon. So how has the tour been? It's been an amazing learning experience for us, that's for sure. Like, uh, we, when we when we came onto the tour, we just wanted to try and soak up all the knowledge that we could from the other bands, because it's the first time we're getting to witness how the pros do things. So um, this tour has been a really big learning curve for us, and we're just loving every moment of it. <laughs> yeah, uh, live gigs are, of course, very important to this kind of music. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, what makes a good gig for you? Um, for me, it's uh, definitely the interaction with the fans. Like, if I see people are just standing around watching, then I get like very nervous on stage. But I've just I've slowly learned from the other bands as well that no matter what the crowd is giving you, you just stand and deliver and give your all. So um, definitely, the 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 crowd interaction is the biggest thing for me live as a vocalist. Okay, and uh, till now, what have been the best gigs? Um, I would say uh, Switzerland was one of the best and Munich for me, uh, the sound in Switzerland and just the venue and everything was amazing, I really loved that, but um, every show has been pretty much amazing in my opinion, but uh, Switzerland just stands out there for me always. Okay, thank you so much and uh, all the best for the rest of the yeah, tour. Thank you so much man, thank you, yeah. you too. Thank you. Thanks man. Thanks.